Let's take a look at comparing data sets with averages. So here we've got a table showing donations from class A and class B. So presumably uh, the six donations are from six separate students that belong to the classes. Um, so first of all, we are going to work out what the mean donation is. So that remember that the mean is all the values added together and divided by the number of values. So we know that there are six values for class A and for class B. So for class A, we're just going to add them up. 2 plus 6 plus 5 plus 200 plus 1 plus 10. That comes to 224. And we're going to divide that by 6. So for class A, the mean is £37.33p. We're going to do the same for class B. And that's 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 9 plus £7.50 plus eight, and we're going to divide that by six, and that comes to nine pounds eight. So we can see that class A was much more generous if we're going off the mean. So let's look at the median. So the median is the, uh, the middle value when we put them in ascending or descending order. So let's put class A in ascending order. So one pound, two pounds, five, six, ten, 200 so the middle means we just need to chop off the edges and the new edges so the mean uh, median rather is going to be halfway between five and six pounds so that is going to be five pounds fifty let's do the same for b so it goes eight eight nine missed out the 750 but that's okay um, i can just stick it at the front there 10 and 12 again let's chop off the right and the left and again so what's halfway between eight pounds and nine pounds is eight pounds 50. So if we're going off the median, then class B is more generous. Looking at the mode, well in class A, there is no mode because there is no value that repeats itself, which makes this a bit of a stupid question. You'd never be asked this in a real test. Uh, and for class B, the mode is eight pounds because that appears twice. So what we can see from this set of data is the advantage and the disadvantage of going with the mean versus the median. Now, with class A, the problem with taking the mean is this donation of 200 pounds massively boosts the mean. The mean is 37 pounds 33, but there's only one person that has contributed at least this amount. Everyone else is practically in sing single figures, but because this person's so crazily generous, it's hugely affected the mean. So you could say that the median is a better uh, estimate for the for the average here because it excludes the 200 pounds value, which is an outlier. And an outlier, the definition of an outlier is just any value that is sort of massively out of sync with all the rest. So um, there is, as you can see, there are certain disadvantages of the mean in the mean takes into consideration outliers, whereas the median, they get bumped off. And notice that in the median for class A, the 200 is completely discarded. Now we're comparing data sets with range. So the range is the, uh, the difference between the highest and the lowest value. So this is the number of bullseyes hit in 10 minutes. So we go from zero to 32. So the range is 32. Now for class B, the range is 21 take away nine and 21 take away nine is 12. Now the more consistent class is the class with the lower range. Low range equals consistent, the massive range equals not very consistent at all. Class A were not very consistent, their numbers are all over the place. There's this guy here who's amazing at hitting the bullseye and this person here completely hopeless. Whereas in class B, there's, you know, they are, the numbers are much more consistent and that's proved by the range. So the range is less for class B, so class B were more consistent. 